Parker with the Oak Park Real Estate Team. Please leave any comments, uh, or if you would like to buy or sell your home, by all means, uh, reach out. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the next tour. Bye-bye. So here's your backyard, and uh, it's not huge. It is certainly large enough to uh, uh, put a spool in. What's wonderful about this backyard is it's super quiet. You have these amazing views of the golf course here. And uh, you uh, also have these great views of the surrounding mountains. Uh, in this backyard, you got this beautiful, I believe this is called a mesa tree. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. The landscaping back here is just beautiful. It's not a ton to take care of. Uh, and you also have this great covered porch out here and everything is done in these beautiful papers and that goes for the entire home as well. Let me bring you over here to the right side of the home and here is your walkway to the front. Super clean. This is also outfitted with a gas uh, uh, piping here so you can put your outdoor kitchen. You also have your faucet uh, outside and uh, I really like how they did the pavers with the rocks here. Super clean and obviously there's nothing to take care of. So coming on over here to this side of the home uh, is where all of your appliances will be as far as your AC unit and your energy panel. Uh, here's your AC unit. It does look like everything is wrapped correctly. Uh, and uh, so pretty simple back here. So let's go inside and I'm going to start the tour. Okay, I'm going to start this tour outside here uh, just to show you the front of this home. It's very beautiful. They did a great job in the exterior. I like the rock work here and I do like that little hole right there as far as adding additional light and architectural detail. Your front yard here is fully landscaped. It's a uh, not a lot of stuff to landscape as far as uh, cutting grass or anything since there is none, but I do like that they put this raised bed here. You also have an, a, another mason tree back here, or up in the front as well. So I'm going to pan around this neighborhood here to give you a, a look of the neighborhood. And uh, let's go on inside. And let me show you the beautiful uh, interior of this home. But you're going to notice that the paperwork is wrapped around all the way up here to the front. And here's your beautiful rock work that you have. Uh, beautifully designed and uh, this home feels a lot bigger than it is. So come on in. When you walk into the home, you walk into this beautiful entryway here. I'm going to actually turn around to show it to you. Here is your entryway here. Uh, it actually is quite large, so it has a lot of areas where you can put your artwork, uh, table, a little entryway. Uh, if you have some large photos to put over here, would be great. Uh, I do like over here that they added this glass door so you can shut off the front of the house uh, and you can't see through it uh, and that actually makes it a little bit uh, more private as well. So my apologies, this bedroom's a little dark, I couldn't get the light to work, but uh, here's your bedroom. Uh, they did leave this large uh, extra closet here and you have a wall closet on this side and this is located to the left or excuse me to the right of the front door when you enter uh, this features your full bathroom over here or actually I'm sorry uh, shower and uh, really clean this home it's been very well taken care of here's your single vanity and everything really looks well maintained you have this beautiful tile work here on the floor that does extend to this portion of the home. Uh, and here's your front room here. Uh, you have a wall closet uh, over here and outside. Uh, this is the front of your home. So uh, what I do want to point out in this home is all of the corners are a nice sharp corner so it's not rounded. So you have these really nice sharp corners. 
And uh, all these walls are in really good condition. Uh, so remember how it had this home? Absolutely took care of it. So over here is your uh, utility room, your laundry room. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, you have a little sitting room here, like a mud room. So when you walk in from the garage, uh, let me show you this and I'll show you the garage. Here is your laundry room. Uh, you have a large uh, sink and countertop area over here. This also features your washer and dryer. Uh, and this laundry room is actually quite large. So here's this beautiful cabinetry work right here. Uh, gives you some extra seating, some storage, and uh, to change your shoes when you walk in. I want to show you this garage here. Uh, I'm sorry that the lighting isn't so great, and I'll try to keep my voice down so it doesn't reverberate much. But they did give you this really nice uh, terrazzo floor. This home features your, uh, I, for some reason I always call them uh, always hot, ready water, but it is your hot water system, and it's hot water on demand. And uh, the garage is quite clean, and it does feature some extra storage up here as well. This home does feature panels, uh, solar panels. Uh, so it's quite energy efficient. Uh, and I imagine your bills would stay quite low in the, the heat of the day. Over here is a extra coat closet. And that's followed by this half bath right here, which features a pedestal sink uh, and your mirror and your vanity uh, set up here. So this is a nice, good size for what it is. And then let's wrap around here to this spectacular open room. Uh, and this is going to feature your kitchen. Uh, so you have a corner kitchen over here. And the countertop area uh, beyond the kitchen. This looks like a manufactured quartz. Uh, it's quite beautiful. I really like the flake in it as well. Uh, you also have over here your stainless steel sink uh, with your nice uh, faucet right here as well. I call those swan faucet faucets, but I'm sure there's an actual name for them. This features your uh, stainless steel refrigerator and uh, also, this also has a double wall oven over here. And it does look like the appliances are fairly new, but uh, I imagine they're just really well taken care of. Over here, you have your, whirl your Whirlpool uh, microwave. And over here, you have your stainless steel exhaust with your countertop cooktop here. So these cabinets are actually quite nice. Uh, they're like brand spanking new still. So whomever had this home certainly took care of it. Uh, and then over here, I do like these pendant lights that they added uh, above the uh, island over here. And on this side, you have a pantry. And I like that they put this nice glass right here. Uh, and this pantry, is actually a really nice size. So, uh, bigger than I would thought. And your bedroom back here, uh, you have this great view of the golf course and your surrounding area. Uh, this bedroom is a little larger than your normal uh, owner's suite bedroom. Uh, they have a wall fan here that works really well because I can feel it. Uh, so anyways, back here is your uh, owner's suite bathroom. Uh, this does feature this nice long vanity here. And everything, as I said, is kept up beautifully. You've got some great chrome uh, faucets through this home. And I do like this single setup here with the sink. You have this great soaking tub. And my apologies, the sun is so bright today, which is really a nice change. Uh, and that actually has this nice window that you could cover up. Or What I'm gonna do is put a living wall behind some of the windows that see out like that. So you're gonna see a really pretty living wall instead of just another home. So a little bit of an idea. So over here is your single vanity. 
uh, and just super clean this home. It really looks like nobody ever lived here. And on this side, lastly, you have this great large walk-in uh, shower over here. And all of the chrome is throughout the house. So it is consistent uh, and it looks absolutely spectacular. Over here, they gave you this nice size walk-in closet. Uh, and they did a great job with it. So plenty of room that you have over here. And uh, I also want to point out that all the doors in this home are this nice uh, cut out, this, uh, gosh, what do you call it? Just a simple cut out uh, pattern in your door here.